Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I used to watch the TV show Friends and it's back more online at the moment because of the reunion. And we all knew when we watched Friends that Monica was super clean. So I thought I'd share a few of her tips. First one being keep everything in its proper place. Now I actually use this tip very simple, put keys away in drawers. Now in the episode, Monica is very strict and you're barely able to have anything out of place. She'll have it taken away from them. So not to be too obsessive, but just things like the computer I'll put in boxes. I love baskets for keeping things hidden. It does help when they have lids. And so everything's just in its place, you know where it is, and everything looks a lot tidier. The next one is impress guests with a clean home and fluffed pillows. Now, Monica, again, is very obsessive with this one. You're barely allowed to sit on the sofa and the cushion is being fluffed. But years ago, I worked in Austria in a retreat hotel. And one of the things I would do every day was fluff the cushions and fold all the blankets. And I've kept that tip till this day. I find just when you have that done, everything looks a lot tidier, especially if you live in an open plan house. Now you could be more minimalist than me and have no blankets and no cushions to fluff. But I love the texture and the coziness with blankets and cushions, so it's something that I know I'll always have. But before going to bed at night, I just give them a little fluff, fold the blanket, and then when you come out in the morning, everything just has a feeling of calm and tidiness. Next one is friends don't let friends get mildew. Now in this episode, Monica was opening the shower curtain in her friend's house so that no mildew builds up on the shower curtain. So in our house, what we do, if mildew builds up on the shower door, I'll just get a bit of lemon, some salt and baking soda together and give it a nice scrub. And then every time we're in the shower afterwards, you just clean down the doors with a squidgy. I don't know the official name, but they're really handy and it just stops all the buildup and keeps everything looking a lot cleaner. The next one is organization is key. Now in the episode, Monica had about 11 categories for her towels. We have one set of towels, the towels that we use. But a few little things I like to do is organizing the wardrobe in the sense of keeping everything similar together, having a little bit of color coding. It's a simple little thing that makes choosing an outfit easier. It makes me feel a lot organized anyway. And I always find with things like organizing, it's a little bit of effort at the beginning, but it's worthwhile and it saves a lot of time in the long run. So I've done a video before on clothes decluttering. I'm looking here at the wardrobe thinking I could do with another little declutter soon. But I like to keep things in categories like my jeans, leggings, tops. And it just means getting ready in the morning is a lot quicker and easier. The next one is add some glam to your cleaning outfit. Now in the episode, Monica wore her wedding dress while washing the dishes. And I also used to work for a lovely lady in her 90s that said she never went a day without putting lipstick on. So sometimes when we're in the house a lot, especially if a lot of us are working from home or so forth, we can just get a little bit frumpy and wearing tracksuits all the time is my norm. So I just thought I'd put a little bit lippy on, get on my wedding dress and clean the bedroom. I wouldn't say it was the most practical, but it definitely was a lot of fun and made cleaning a lot more interesting. So if you're ever having one of those days, feeling a little bit frumpy, just pop on some glad rags and just have a little bit of fun, put on your favorite music and go cleaning around the house. 
And it was also great that the wedding dress got another use. Next one is, if you see it, clean it. Now in the episode, Monica was cleaning people's dirty cars outside. I don't go that far, but the way we do it in the house is, if I see something that's dirty, I'll just clean it. So I don't have a dedicated weekly cleaning routine. I've just never really been able to choose to put aside that time every week. But I find it's a lot easier just to do a little bit and often. So if I see something needs cleaning or hoovering, I'll just give it a clean. I find it actually saves a lot more time and I never really feel like I'm overwhelmed with a big cleaning routine. But sometimes I have to remember to relax a little bit more because I could be sitting down with a cup of tea, looking at the window at the birds and then notice a little splodge on the window that needs cleaning. Next is avoid eating in bed. Now this is one that I would do. Eating in bed is just incredibly messy. But in the episode, Monica is really strict and you have to eat cookies over the kitchen sink. So we can get a little bit obsessive, but it is practical not to eat in the bed. Crumbs everywhere under the sheets. And of course, it brings a lot of mice. So this is a tip that I would definitely use. Next is even your cleaning supplies can be cleaned. I thought this was a great tip because a lot of the time we forget that the cleaning supplies also need to be cleaned. So if we want things like say a hoover to work efficiently then we have to look after it. So I'm always emptying out the hoover. Not having hoover bags is a great way to reduce waste. I'll pop out all the dirt into the forest. But a lot of the times I'll forget that I actually need to clean out the whole hoover. So if you think of the amount of dirt that the hoover is picking up. So I'm definitely going to clean this more often. And it doesn't take long at all. I just did a quick rinse with the hose, but you could soak it in a basin. And then I have other cleaning videos where I put essential oil on the filter. And I just think it's a lot better if you're popping the essential oil onto a really super clean hoover. And then of course, I think you're looking after then your equipments and appliances really well, so they should serve you much better and last a lot longer. The other thing I'll do is with the scrubber head that I use for washing the dishes, I'll just rinse them with a little bit of vinegar. I'll just let them sit there. I won't really time it. I'll just leave them there, forget about it and come back later. It's a really simple way of just giving a little fresh up to those appliances you're always using. But when you have a very minimal cleaning supplies, it actually makes less work for us to do. So keeping it simple really helps. And last but not least is remember that sometimes you can't control the mess. And I love this tip. It's definitely true if you have children or a lot of people living in your household. We all make mess when we live and we all have to live and be comfortable with living. There's nothing worse than being afraid to get something dirty or make a mess. We have a tiny kitchen and unless I clean as I go when I'm cooking, the place looks incredibly messy. But it is what it is, it will eventually get tidied up. So I've learned over the years to relax a lot more. Especially because we have to hand wash everything. The dishes all build up and that's okay. 
So I'd love to know if you're somebody that gets stressed out with a messy home or if you're a lot more chilled with keeping things clean and tidy. I think there's a few nice tips that Monica has, but there's definitely we can get too obsessive. So I've enjoyed sharing these with you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and then I'll know. And chat as always down below or over on Instagram. Anything, friends, if there's any friends fans out there and cleaning. So have a wonderful week. Thanks very much for watching. Happy cleaning and I'll see you in the next video.